What's up, beautiful people? It's a crazy world out there, don't you think? Oh my gosh, because I am trying really hard to not drive myself too crazy during this quarantine time. Are you looking for an easy graphic design too? Yeah, if you are, you came to the right place. I have the solution for you. So stay there, watch the video until the end. But before I start, if you enjoy this video, give a like, leave your comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So today I decided to come here and share with you some tips and some ideas how we can use this time that we have in our hands right now to improve our business and to learn a different skills as well. Our topic today in this video is how to use Canva for your business. So if you never heard about Canva, Canva is an app you can download in your phone, you can download in your computer, pretty much teach you how to do any graphic design. I am not a tech person at all. I never been, you have no idea. And I came across Canva and I love Canva. I'm completely obsessed with Canva. In a snap of your finger, you can make this beautiful graphic design. And I'm gonna go over with you here, the type of things that you can create with Canva. And it looks completely professional. We all know that consistent branding, it's so important to grow your business. It's very competitive out there. There is plenty of people that offer the same things that you do. We want people to remember our brand. That's why it's important for us to be consistent. Just to give you some example, like when you see a little apple with a bite, what do you think? Of course, you're going to think about the Apple, about the computers, right? The phones, the iPads. You already recognize the brand. It's an Apple brand, right? The same thing with the Nike. If you see the little white check mark of Nike, you even don't have to see the word Nike. You're going to recognize that it's a Nike. How your brain works. Before to use Canva, I wasn't consistent. Every time I create a new marketing campaign, I was using different phone, different color thing. My brand before visually wasn't engaging. If your brand is not catching your client's eyes, this means it's not working for you. You don't need to have any graphic design experience. In fact, you need to have zero. In a matter of minutes, you can design gorgeous graphic for your business that you're gonna be very proud to show to everyone, to all your clients. You're gonna show to the world, I promise. I'm gonna give you some example of graphic design that you can create using Canva, like Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, create a logo for your business. You can also create business cards you can do your flyers. You can create PowerPoints if you have any presentation. I'm not a tech person, so if I can do it, yes, you can do it too. You can create brochures. You can design print material as well. I know you may be asking, so does anybody print anything those days? Yes, we do. It's easy to work with Canva because they have a pre made templates that you can use. They also have the tool that you can create anything, any logo, any design with the transparent background. And there is so many other things that as you go, you're gonna learn how to do it because I've been using Canva now for almost three years and it's been a life change, a life change for me, a life change for my business. So here we go. I have in the screen with the Canva web page. So the first thing you need to go, if you never use Canva and you just go to Safari or Chrome and type www.canva.com. So when you go there, of course, if you never used Canva before, you're going to need to create an account. You cannot just go ahead and sign in because you don't have an account yet. So they're going to ask you some questions and you're going to create your account. And then after that, you're good to go. That is the option that is for free. And when I started, I had the free option and had many, many designs that I could use the template and was free. I did not have to pay a penny. As I start to explore Canva more, then I realized that was a great investment for my business and for the things I was doing to pay a monthly fee that we pay. 
So folks, just to give you a quick overview, here we are at the screen. In your left side of your screen, you're gonna see Create Design. You're gonna see my mouse right here, Create a Design. I have a home page. This is the page that we are right now. I'm clicking right now, see, I click home. And all your designs. Of course, I have all my designs here, right? So everything that I have created since I started to use Canva, usually comes the last thing that you created, it shows first. So I'm gonna go over with you later, but this is how it works. Shows all the templates. Let me show here, this is all the templates. Everything that you need. Then photos, right? All the photos that Canva offer for you to use. Some photos are free. You are able to use it with no cost. Sometimes when you have to pay, it's like a dollar. It's very inexpensive because I could use this photo. Let's just give some examples. Sometimes you're creating a design and you're looking for some specific photo. If you don't have, you can come here and you can search for photo. And then that is also uh, print anything that you need to give away for a networking meeting, seminar that you're doing, that is all the things that you can do, like custom t-shirt, poster, business card, postcard, invitation, flyer, leatherhead, go on and on here. And then that is apps as well that you can design with your favorite media. You can come here and then you can use that. And then brand kit. Right, that is so much that you can explore. See, that is all my logos you can see here, right? And my logo for my Savvy Sex Social Cruises by Kiola Binelli. So, all my logos are here. And then, Design School that's where you can also learn more, right? You can start a course and learn more with Canva. You can sign up here. And let me go back here, uh, create a team. If you have more than one person working for you, you can add them as a team member. And there is a fee for that, but it really worth it because you can share things with the other person and she can share with you and then you both can collaborate with the same graphic design. Uh, of course, folders, that's all my folders that I had created and then share with you and uh, logos and of course trash that is so much you can explore let's go back to the home page so we can start folks it's very important that you can dig in after this video so more you use canva more you play around you're gonna learn more about it this platform is just so amazing i can keep going on and on and on how much i love it this is just how you can browse by categories, right? You can create Facebook posts, Instagram posts, Facebook covers, flyers, presentations, YouTube thumbnails, cards, business cards, photo collage, invitations, brochures, logos, resume, posters, so much things that you can do using Canva and it's so helpful. Now my main goal here is to help you to create something for your business just to can improve and help your business during this difficult time. So let's start with the business card. So when you click in business card, they already give you many templates that you can look and see if you like any of those templates. Just keep in mind, whatever you see, you can change. We're going to go there, but I'm just going to scroll down so you can see all different templates you have an offer for you. Let's pick any template that I like already. And let's pick any design. Look to your left here. Let's pick any design so we can create something different. Yeah, let's go with this one here. Let's see. You can drag it. See, you just, you, you have to drag. Okay, folks, let me go back again. See, you have to drag this here. You pretty much, you click on the whatever graphic that you want, and then you, you drag it for here. That's how you bring it. Let's see if I want a different design. Oh, I don't want this one anymore. I want this one. You drag again. Let you go. ta -da! Change. You have so many templates. That's what the cool part. If you're a yoga teacher, look at this. You already can find something like pre-made for you that helps. But let me go to the other one that I was here, right? And here. Okay. Uh, let's see if you don't like the color black. No, but my business is a different color. Let's go click on the here, right? You can pick. Let's see. My business is pink. You pick the pink that you want. So let go. Oh, it's pink now. It's not black. If I want a darker pink. You can click on. You can just keep changing the colors, you know, for any color that you want. This is not that awesome. If you don't see any colors that you want here, you still can add another palette, 
of color too. Let me see here. You can add your brand color. The little number here, this is my brand color, E955AD. Remember, being consistent. So I come here and I put the E955AD. They give me exactly the color that I use for my butterfly. Let's go back here. And again, you know the options about the colors you can change. Let's see if you don't have your brand color yet. Eventually, you need to figure out what's your brand color. Write the color code that you're using for your brand. Make sure that you have this in a piece of paper, in your phone, just memorize. But until you don't have your brand color, still trying to figure out you're creating. So listen, if you here, you also can pick, look at that. You can choose whatever you want. Look, now I'm playing around. I'm hoping that you're following right here. See, like where I'm going with the mouse. And because I'm playing and I'm clicking, when I click on, it's a call stay. So let's see, we we'll click on this. I don't know how we call this. It's a kind of like a sun, like, you know, coming out. So what you do, you do not like the color either. You can go here on the color. It shows right now gold. You can change for any color you want. You can make it black, right? You can make, you know, I'm just giving some example, folks, that you do can change for whatever color that you want. Oh, Go ahead and use the colors that they suggested for you. The same thing with your name. Let's keep, I'm typing right now. Oops, I'm just let's keep it real, right? Let me change the color, pink, let's keep it real. If I want to make, let's keep it real, the word in black. Anything that you want to change, you have to bring the mouse and click on, you see? Like you have to click exactly where you want to change. I, I could change the font if I want. Let's see if I want to change for April fat face. You see how it changed? But I like the other one better. Let's go back to the other one. Command Z, that you can undo anything that you have done. Oh, I did too much, Command Z. So you always can do the Command Z. You go back to exactly where you were at before. I have a logo, so I'm not gonna use this little sun coming out so i delete it gonna delete the bottom as well because i don't need that right and by the way i think i want the let's keep it real in black not in white because i think we're gonna stand out more on the pink background don't you think and then if i want to change the border here for black i could do that too i want to bring my logo for this if you don't have your logo make sure just upload your logo to your computer by the way i don't like to use canva on my phone I always use my laptop my desktop it will make easier for you go to upload if you're looking for logo if you don't have your logo no computer yet just make sure that you can send the logo to your computer or the image that you need to have. You can see here, when I go to uploads, you're gonna see so many photos in your left here at my screen, project that I have done. So I have my logo and it's easy if you can organize files. In my case, I have my files here, my logo files, as you can see. And then I can come and just grab my pink butterfly. When I went to my logo, file here i just went to my pink butterfly and then i just click on it came right here it doesn't come right away you just can drag it look see that now i have two butterflies you can delete one because i don't need two now i have one now that i have my logo here what i want to do i want to resize correct everything you gotta be proportional you can see that as i drag things around it tells me the measurements exactly where we i am if i am in the center of the design dimensions are very important i like the way it looks right this light pink i even could use a white from the top and from the bottom when i bought the let's keep it real now it's proportional and then i can drag the butterfly again a little bit closer like this add new here i'm gonna bring the back of this layout here you go this is the back of the layout again i'm just gonna go back to the white because make things simple right and then i want to have the frame instead gold i want to have in black i don't need this sun coming out i gotta remove and then i'm gonna put my name you have to know that when i change the background was black and i change for white the words were white so now you can see the words but they are here let me change for now so you can see i'm gonna change for black so you can see that the words is still there right let me just click again 
and bring it to black. Here you go. It's still there. You just didn't see it. You can change and put the way you want. I'm going to put my name, Keola Binelli, right? Executive director. It's okay. It can leave like that. And then you put your phone number here, your email address, and your physical address. And if you are happy, what do you have? I'm trying to do something simple here. If you are happy, what you have you can just go ahead and just download up to the screen, download. So PNG is recommended. Whatever graphic that you're working on, Kiev are gonna recommend what's the best file type for you to download. So for this one, she's recommended PNG, but if you click on this arrow here, you're gonna show that it's a JPEG. JPEG is great if you want transparent background. It's just give you a sleek look for anything that you're doing. In this case, you know, if you don't need it, you can use PNG. Please know that PDF is ideal for printing, if you print in anything. And then you can do also animated GIF movie too. Experimental right now, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, but you can try that. Usually I do PNG or JPEG. And JPEG is only if I need transparent background. Usually I create files on my computer. If you look here, it's a business card. You see on the top of the screen, it's a business card. I have to go back every time and create a new file. I use the same file and I just go and upload a new design. So as you can see, I only want to download the page nine. And you can see to the right of the screen here where I have my mouse, right? Page nine, click on download. You just go to this little window that open to your screen. You don't want to download all the pages, correct? You want to download only page 9. That's the page that we're working right now and the page 10, correct? So what you're going to do, you're going to put page 9 to 10, right? So now you don't need transparent background. If you don't need transparent, so you don't check this. If you do need transparent background, you check here on this little box here next to transparent background. And then you just go click and download right now and go. I'm gonna show you. Hold tight, prepare your design as you see. I love because they always give you some very nice and motivational message after you done with your graphic design. So this one today say design has allowed us to stand out, to look different and show that difference boldly. Joe Mansueto. I love it. I love to read all those little quotes that they send us in the end. When you download, it goes straight to your downloads in your computer. But if you want right away, just post this design you can post on, fa so on Facebook. They give you the option. You just click here, post right in Facebook. You can tweet. You can email right from here. You even don't have to go to downloads. They make it easier for you. Another thing I want to share with you here. Let's see if you are creating this design. You want some suggestion or you want to share with somebody. You want to get somebody's opinion. You can go here to the top of the screen and say the next to Kilo Binary Culture Text. You see here, say share. You click on. And then share this design with people, with social, with link, embed. Invite people to view or edit this design. If you're working with someone and you want to make sure that the person loves what you're creating, you like what you're creating, you can just actually share the design of that person so that person can contribute with the design. She must to have Canva as well. And that is different things that you can use here. That is the layouts, that is the elements that you can use. So when you click on elements, that is the free photos that you can use, grab if you don't have your own photo and you want to grab photos from here, you can do that. You can have grids, like, you know, anything that shapes and lines and things that you want to add to your design. Folks, it's so easy to do it, but you have to play around. You have just to come here. Let's see if I want to bring this to my design. See, it's already there. Change colors. You can change sizes. You have just to come here and play, spend some time just to figure things out and get comfortable and get used to. But it's very easy and is a piece of cake. So go back here. Let me go back. If I want to get some lines, I can do that. Illustration. See that is go to look to the left of my screen. That is all these lines I can grab. Look, I can get 
like little arrows like this. It's just so amazing. I just love it. I'm just so obsessed. That is illustration. If you're looking for people, pretty much everything that you're looking for, you can find here. The same thing with the text. I go all the top here. You see of the of the screen you can come here and you can grab the text you want let me show you, you can bring to your template see let me delete the other one always to delete i like to put the arrow right on the little corner where is the blue point and then you delete you see this uh, i'm just showing here just you know you're playing a little bit new text and then you can change the color of the text it's just like so much you can do. If you're looking for background, you also can go here. You see all those are different type of background and you can see it's all free. Cause again, I pay $14.99 a month and it's all free. And you can, let's see if I want to this background. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? It changed already. Let me see if I want this background. Oh, it's a different one. How about this one? I just it's just so much fun it's definitely gonna keep your mind occupied during this difficult time of quarantine because i'm sure we have so much we can do not only for our business but also for our personal too for our social media if you don't have a business so since we are talking about being consistent it create ai catch brand so i'm gonna give some example about my logo about my font and it, it took me a while until I found Canva to really figure out what works for me, what works for my brand. I'm giving some example right now. You see on the screen, this is my business card. That's what you see. So I'm going to show you and then we can go step by step how I create that. This is my business card for my boutique, Keola Binelli Couture. And then this is the front of the business card. And I want something nice and neat and clean. Then I'm gonna show you the back. You all know if you've been watching my videos that my slogan is be you, do you, and stay true. This is my mojo in life. It's always been you, do you, and stay true. So of course, when I created my business card here, I kept that. Colors are pink, as you can see, they're all my colors. But now, let me show you how I've been playing around, learning about my logo. So before Canva, when I had other people designing my logos for me, that was my logo. I thought that Keola Binelli wasn't standing out the way I wanted because I have multiple business. I decided to keep pretty much a simple logo, especially because of the butterfly, I want to use for all the business so people could understand and really remember my brand because I am my brand. So that's why I decided to change. I thought that this one was way too busy. It was taken away from my logo, from my brand. This was the front of the card and this was the back of the card. So I thought it was way too busy and then I decided that I wanted to change. So that's why I created something simple here. And originally I created this one for my clothing, my clothing tags. So it's very simple. As you can see, white, pink, butterfly, killer, binelli in black. And then I have my website on the bottom. And then you can see also here in the back is very simple address, phone number, and that's it if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like make a comment and then also subscribe to my channel be creative have some fun during this difficult time of quarantine using canva and don't get in panic stay home stay safe and just remember be you do you and stay true i love you all folks bye bye